What's going on guys? Ed here, back with some more fitness stuff for you today. We got a great topic. Before we get into it, as always, please like, leave a comment for the algorithm, subscribe, share this with your friends. We got a lot of good information that we got to get out to the world, all right? Because nobody else is doing this shit. Anyway, as I say curse words, uh, I do realize that YouTube has... You know, all kinds of people out there watching. There's some young, some old, some in the middle. And a lot of this, like, bodybuilding content is geared towards older people. But I know that some kids are starting to look into bodybuilding younger and younger. I see in my gym nowadays there's way more high school and college kids than when I was in high school. Even, what, 10 years ago. Fitness is just becoming more and more popular in today's world. And with that... Kids are getting into it younger and younger. I mean, I started not lifting weights, but exercising when I was very young. I started martial arts when I was like four or five years old. And they had us doing a lot of body weight exercises, push-ups, stuff like that. So I was working out from the time that I was very little. That being said, I got some great exercises for you kids out there who are looking to get into the strength training, looking to build some muscles. You don't got to wait until high school to build muscle. You can start building muscle and strength when you're a kid without even lifting weights. So you don't got to stunt your growth. We can do a bunch of body weight exercises. And today I'm going to go over my top 10 that you can do at home to start building strength and muscle so that you're miles ahead of everybody else when you get to high school. These are in no particular order. I just kind of group them based on the body part that we're going to work. So starting off with number 10, 10 is calf raises. You got to start that calf development early. If you don't, I mean, you're going to be screwed. Calves are kind of genetic anyway, but if you can get a jump on it, you can build those calves sooner so you don't end up with chicken legs. Number nine, walking lunges. These are great. These are brutal. I do these to this day. Walking lunges are one of the top exercises to build those glutes, to build those quads. And they are very similar to number eight, which are squats. Squats are one of the three big lifts that when you get older, you're definitely going to be doing. We can start doing squats right now, even just body weight squats. And hey, if that gets too easy for you, you can, I mean, lean against the wall, try and do some pistol squats on one leg. There's a lot of squat variations we can go with here. But for now, we're just sticking with body weight squats. Number seven is planks. You got to start building that core strength early on, guys. Core is going to be so important for all sports, all aspects of life. You want a strong core. Planks will do that. Number six and number five are kind of grouped together here. They're pretty much the same workout, but a little bit different. We got pull-ups and chin-ups. These are going to work your back and your biceps, guys. I love pull-ups with an overhand grip to work the back muscles and then chin-ups to work the bicep. Focus more on your arms there. You don't even need to lift weights to hit the bicep, guys. You can hit your biceps by doing pull-ups. So number six and number five, those I did a lot growing up. I think that's why I have such a developed back and biceps. I did tons and tons and tons of pull-ups growing up. Everybody says, Ed, how do you get that V taper? Pull-ups, baby. You want a wide back? You got to get them pull-ups in. Number four is handstands. This is for shoulder development. Handstands are going to be great. Uh, you don't need to be a gymnast to practice handstands, and this will give you a lot of body coordination and body awareness. When you just practice handstands, you can practice walking around on your hands, practice just doing handstands in place up against the wall. And that kind of leads me to my next one, number three, which is wall push-ups, where you literally go up in a handstand against the wall and do push-ups. These are going to be brutal on the shoulders if you want to build them big, bolder shoulders. Handstand push-ups will do it. These are going to be very hard just starting off. You might not even be able to get one. Stick with it. You're going to be able to do tons. Impress your friends. Impress the ladies. Boom. Number two is dips. Tricep dips. You want to build the back of those arms. You don't need weights to do it. All you need is your body weight. Get a dip bar. Start doing some dips. It's going to work your shoulders, your chest as well. Dips are a great movement to work multiple muscles. And number one, one of my personal favorites, push-ups. You can't go wrong with the push-ups. You can do all types of variations of these. Incline, decline, flat, 
You can even have somebody sit on your back or maybe add a little bit of weight here because I know once you kids start doing these push-ups, they're going to get easy real quick and you might be able to bang out 50 of them in a row. So if you want to make it a little bit harder, try some different variations, maybe some one-hand push-ups. You can do all different types of stuff with push-ups and that will be great to build your chest and your tricep strength and development. You're going to be way, way, way ahead of everybody else once you get to high school if you start doing these 10 exercises right now. You don't even need to do them every day. You can split them up. You can do them a couple times a week. If you want to do all those leg exercises on one day, boom, there's three exercises you can do on Monday. Then you can do your planks, pull-ups, and chin-ups on Wednesday. And then those other four, the handstands, wall push-ups, push-ups, and dips on Friday. You could do three days a week or you could, you know, split it up. Maybe pick one of each. Do one every day. Depends on how much you want to do. Don't go crazy with it, guys. I would say three days a week, max. And you are going to build some great strength, some great muscle development early on. You're going to beat everybody to it. And that's going to help you tremendously no matter what you're doing, no matter what sport it is, whether you're in soccer, swimming, baseball, football, martial arts, whatever it is, these exercises will help to push you ahead. All right? So for all my little bodybuilders out there who want to get big, who want to get strong, this is some good information for you. Write down these 10 exercises and try them at home. If you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out, comment below. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Ed out.